Uh, great, uh, great win for our guys. Great win over a really good team. I told the guys in the locker room um, two things. One, um, in our first two games, we're 2-0 and against teams that I really believe are going to win eight, nine, ten games. I think we really uh, um, did a nice job against two quality opponents. And the second thing was we needed that game. Uh, we had a lot of adversity, in, especially in the first half. Um, and uh, we kind of rose above it. We got to a 14 nothing lead. Uh, and um, then uh, turn the football over on, on a play and give them credit. The momentum flipped a little bit. They made a nice drive, uh, got points, and had another nice drive to make it 14 to 10, uh, and they had the momentum. And then uh, uh, great job by Coach Klein and our offense and, and getting that touchdown before half. That was so critical, knowing that we were going to come out and have to kick the ball off to them. We talk about a four over four mentality, which is the last four of the first half and first four of the second half. And that was critical for us to get that score. So uh, pleased with the win. Yeah, we've got to continue to get better and clean some things up. But uh, that's a quality opponent we beat. Uh, it, it does not at all. Uh, they were really, really good on defense. Uh, and uh, I thought they did a great job of, of trying to make us one-dimensional uh, and not allowing us to rush the football. We, we continued to, to do some good things in the run game, probably not consistently like we'd want, but to give them credit. But we were able to get some uh, big plays in the pass game. And then I thought their quarterback's a good player. Um, we were going to try to shut down their rush game, too. We gave, a, we gave them one big run that uh, we missed a fit. But other than that, I thought we did a really good job in the rush game. Their wideouts are good players. Can you assess how Will played? Yeah, um, you know. I know that uh, he was kicking himself uh, for the one pick that he threw uh, in the end zone, probably taking a shot, getting a little, good, a little bit greedy, uh, potentially. But I thought he really settled in after that and said, OK, I made a mistake. Now I've got to own it, and I've got to come back and play really well. And I thought he made some really good plays in that second half. Uh, the, the kind of flip pass to, to RJ was big. Him getting the big run uh, right before half so that we could get the third and short or fourth and short conversion, I thought th that was big. So uh, I, thought he, I thought he settled in and played really well. Well, just we're rotating so many guys is what is so important. And, and we're playing a lot of guys in there, and, and uh, um, we're getting good penetration. We're doing a really good job uh, fitting the run. Uh, and that's the thing that I'm probably most excited about is we work hard on, the, on our run game. And um, you know we, we were hitting our fits and hitting them physically and then pushing the pile back. We didn't have a, uh, a bunch of missed tackles uh, on the perimeter. I thought our perimeter run defense was much better. I thought Will Lee showed up a few times really well in the run game. You know, I was so happy for, for Phil. Um, and we went to him uh, a, a number of times. Uh, and, and we're probably putting a lot on him, returning punts, returning kicks, uh, as well as what he's doing in, in the receiving group. So, um, But he's he's been here a long time. He takes care of his body exceptionally well. And, and Philip wants that role. You're the, you obviously had that touchdown right before halftime. The third quarter defense, their first three drives, they had minus one total yards. Just talk about the defensive effort. Yeah, um, well, they had their way in the second quarter a little bit, so we had to make some adjustments. And I thought our guys really adjusted well. Uh, I thought uh, I can't say enough about Jacob Parrish in the past game. Jacob Parrish was uh, was phenomenal today, uh, covering really good receivers. And um, you know, when we were winning on first down, creating some second, we the first half we just couldn't get off the field on third and long. Those guys were making great plays. In the second half, we were able to do that, and we were able to get a little bit more pressure on the quarterback too. Yeah, he was. Um, he was limited this week and started to get better as the week went on. Um, but the other guy, three guys have been playing really well, so we wanted to um, give him an opportunity. And, and I, I let kind of Matthew handle that. But I, I know that we talked uh, late in the first half about getting him I into the football game. But it was it probably fit well for him to not get warm and then cool down and wait to the second half. But I think everybody can see he's a special receiver and a really good player. And, and uh, it was great to see him um, being explosive. And uh, he made some big time plays. And, and uh, we're happy to have him back. Do you feel like Jaden Jackson has kind of emerged in the situation? In the 
he, he, you know, he jumped on the opportunity. And that's the thing. That catch he made uh, on the long 40-yarder in double coverage, and, and Will put it in a spot only Jaden can get. But Jaden ran through the catch, and uh, that was that was a huge play at a critical time. I think they had just gotten a field goal to cut it to a true two-score game, and it was really important for us to get points on that next drive. And your rest packages seem like they're starting to come together with Toby yeah, um, I was pleased with Toby getting an opportunity. Uh, he just needs snaps to get more and more comfortable. And, and he, you know, it was hot out there, so he subbed in for Dez a handful of times as a true Sam backer, uh, which he just needs those quality reps so that he can continue to, to learn to play that position. But um, where he's really impactful is rushing the passer. I want to go back to that touchdown you did score right before halftime. You know, you take the sack early in that drive, and, and some coaches are going to decide, hey, the momentum's not on our side. Let's just take it to the locker room. Yeah, had we had the game maybe under control or thought we were doing really well, maybe I would have done that. But it had just gotten to 14 to 10. We didn't have any momentum going. And they're getting the ball to start the second half. And that's trust in Will Howard, honestly. Uh, I trust the kids so much uh, that I wanted to call the timeout. I thought CK made a great call to run him to get into a manageable situation so that we could, uh, you know, if it was third and 12, it would have been a different story. But I think we had a third and short that we were able to complete the ball to fill. But that was huge. And we needed to get points. We, we talk about a mentality of coming, ending the first half and starting the second half. Uh, and that was critical for us. Well, I think there was a lot of things said. <laughs> um, but you got to understand our offensive line coach. Uh, but I would also tell you, let's not, you know, uh, Troy has got good defensive players. And they fit the run really well, and they fit downhill. I was really pleased with our guys, the way they responded, um, because we had some – really tough yards that we were able to get. And we were able to, after Jaden got the catch, run the football for two or three first downs and really get the fourth quarter out of it so that you know um, their their staff would have said, now nah, we'll just kind of run the ball and, and we'll get out of here now. Uh, but that was critical. And I thought our, our O-line, we needed that game. We needed to have our O-line go against uh, really quality people like that. So that's what it's going to be all year. Coach, I know you start trying to kind of work through some combinations on the offensive line. Yeah, we moved Coop out, um, and as much of that is uh, you know TP's play, and, and you know Taylor hasn't played a lot of football in the last couple of years. As everybody knows, but prior to that, he was one of our best offensive linemen, and he's a guy that just needs reps, needs reps, needs reps. I was encouraged with um, line gang. I was encouraged with uh, uh, what Hadley's continuing to do, and then you know it's hard for Cooper to be on both sides. We also got Christian Duffy to practice last week on Wednesday and Thursday. Is he ready to play yet? No, but it's getting closer, and that's a really good sign for us. And then as far as the rushing attack goes, kind of 50-50, it felt like, did you kind of just feel like whoever had the hot hand was going to carry the load? Yeah, I thought B.A. did a good job uh, of moving him in and out. I thought uh, Treshawn made some really good runs uh, late. I thought D.J. did as well. We, we changed up some of our run schemes because some of the – some of the uh, outside zone stuff wasn't working, and so we went to more gap scheme, more p uh, pin and pull, and went, ran some power and stuff. And um, you know, we've got a lot of different run game for people to fit up, so it was uh, it was good to see. Just he's he's such a veteran. He's so under control. He. He understands what we're trying to do with him offensively. He's dynamic as a punt returner. Um, the game slows down for him. He can he can talk things through with a quarterback or other receivers. Um, he's just a complete player, and and that's what uh, uh, I'm excited about for Phil. Is you know all the time there was always somebody overshadowing him in the past, and um, he's as good a go-to receiver as we have, and that's exciting because we're you know coming into this year. Not having Malik, not having Cade, we were wondering what was going to happen there. We thought Phil would be steady. Well, Phil's been better than steady. RJ has been better than steady. J Jack's been better. Now we got Keegan coming in here. We've got a lot of depth at wide receiver that uh, excites us because it probably lets us open things up a little bit more. Man, he's a terror. Man, he's a good player.
And, uh, you know, we keep him fresh, too. That's the other thing I was pleased with with Coach Wyatt. I thought uh, Matlock had some good rushes. I, I thought um, Mott did. And, and, and Duke is just so difficult to, to try to block. And, um, you know, they had one of those guys, too. They had that number nine on the edge was really good. And uh, uh, we got one on the edge in 29 and some other guys that are really good. And that's what a difference it is when you can rush three or four and get that great pressure. All right, thanks everyone.